Today on Us Weekly's Reality Recap, did Tom Sandoval really drop Raquel's name on stage? We've got all the details. Then we break down Danielle's reaction to Lindsay and Carl's engagement, plus the cast of Summer House Martha's Vineyard dishes on the premiere season. Honestly, we're crazy because <laughs> to do this after getting married and having him, Just a you few know, months after getting married, by the way. Just a few months. It's, we're always up for a challenge. We got that plus so much more on today's Us Weekly's Reality Recap. Hey guys, Christina Garibaldi here with Us Weekly executive producer Mandy DeCamp, and my jaw is still on the floor from this yeah. week's Vanderpump Rules. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's so good. Like, this is reality. This like, is insane. <laughs> this is the reality I've been waiting for for years. Anytime we feel like, oh, it feels scripted, it, it, this is not scripted. No. <laughs> this is crazy. This is insane. Like, you can't even make this up. Even no. if you, oh, God, it's so good. We're going to break it all down. We have a ton of VPR news as well. But before we do it, like always, see what you guys have to say about last week's show. Defend Defends 77 says Sandoval jumping for joy is just Tom always making sure he's noticeable in every scene. Not going to disagree with that one either. No, and now I like notice him in every yes. scene where, you know, I may not have realized before, but now every scene I'm like, oh, I don't like his face there. Seriously. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I can't. <laughs> uh, Caroline, Caroline says, will Ariana be invited to the coronation for King Charles on the next trip into space? Good grief. Give me a break. She was referring to the fact that Ariana and some of the girls were in invited to the White House Correspondence Center. Of course, a lot of you also defended her in that situation. You know, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. I think good for her, but it is kind of funny. It is funny. It is totally random. But yes, she is um, definitely not, I wouldn't say capitalizing on the breakup, but, you know, using it to her advantage as she should. Get it, girl. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Michelle on The Daily says, I feel like Corey and Samantha's relationship is for the show, convenience. I don't know. I mean, I feel like they wouldn't be dating for this long afterwards, but we'll have yeah. to wait and see. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see for that one. I mean, I think it was definitely like, convenient. Do I think oh, yeah. they would be together if they weren't on the show? No, but because they were both in a house together, you know, attracted to each other. Maybe. Makes sense. Maybe, you know, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, Michelle says, nothing is as enticing as something that you cannot have. I think that was the appeal for Tom. He seemed to lose quite a bit of interest once it was in the open. Also, he looks like shit without Ariana. <laughs> I agree. He, like, lost so much weight. He Rick. looks sick. <laughs> he looks like his body is ripped. Yeah. But it's not, like, it does look like he lost a lot of weight. It does. He did say that he's one month sober, so maybe yeah. that has something to do with it as well. So at least, like, maybe he's taking some good steps in the right direction, but he's got a long way to go. Yeah, <laughs> um, all right, well, let's get into the news. And speaking of Tom, he poked fun at his affair with Raquel by referencing um, Raquel during his recent concert. Bravo fans shared footage. This was going crazy via TikTok of Sandoval performing with his band, The Most Extras, on May 4th in Long Island. So during the rendition of Stacey's Mom, he joked about being interested in Tom Schwartz's mother, which I feel like this shtick has been going on for quite some time. But so he sings, Schwartz's Mom has got it going on. She's all I want. I wait for a song. Of course, he can't you see that Raquel is hot for me. Now, a lot of people are arguing. Does he say hot? Does he say not? Um, what do you think? Honestly, I don't care which one he said. It's too soon. <laughs> Either way. I personally I think he said not. But yeah, I think he says hot. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a toss up. It's like, is the dress black? Or I don't right, know. Right, exactly. Either way, I don't care. It's like, it's just silly. It's like, why is he putting her name in? He knows people are taking social media videos of this. Yeah. Don't say your name. It's too soon. Yeah, I think maybe he did it because they were offering two for one tickets at that concert, and now yeah. he wants to get people in the seats. So well, <laughs> he's got to, he's got to get some people interested in his karaoke show. <laughs> karaoke show. Okay. All right, moving on. So Jax Taylor doesn't have any regrets when it comes to his and Britney's decision to step away from Vanderpump Rules. He said during a recent episode of the Forever Young podcast. My mental health was taking a huge hit. It was eight years of being drilled. I was the villain on the show for eight years. I was just being hammered. Taylor recalled how his time on the Bravo series affected his personal life, saying, I have thick skin, I do, but after a while, I don't care how thick your skin is. After eight years, it takes a toll. I, really, I was really questioning mental health at the end. I was breaking down. I was crying. I was making a lot of dumb mistakes at the end. I was just collapsing. I chose to be in this world, but I was taking a beating. It's tough. He and his wife announced their departure from the show in December 2020. Um, at the time, they wrote on Instagram, the last eight years on Vanderpump Rules have been some of the most challenging, rewarding, and fulfilling years of my life. Although this is difficult to share, Brittany and I will not be returning for another season of Vanderpump. We are excited to 
take this time and focus on growing our family and share with you our new endeavors. Um, and then they thanked the production company. They thanked Bravo. Um, at the time, Cartwright hinted that the decision to leave may not have been solely up to them. When someone commented that they had identical goodbye messages on Instagram, she said, you guys really think we got to write whatever we wanted. Taylor also later admitted that his interest in filming waned ahead of his exit. He said, I was 100% checked out at the end. I was just very irritable on the show. It was getting a little bit too scripted for me and I just couldn't do it anymore. It wasn't fun. Um, so yeah, I mean, they, we still don't really know. Did Bravo fire them? Did they decide to leave? Was it a mutual decision? Um, but he actually said that he would come back and do he'll it. Be back. You think he'll be back? I think, I think, I think Jackson and Brittany will be back next season and, and Kristen will be back next season. What do you think about that? I'm here for it. I'm, you are. I'm yes. <laughs> Definitely Kristen, 100%. Yes. I mean, I feel like maybe Jax and Brittany, well, Brittany is still really good friends with Sheena, yeah. but I feel like Jax is not good friends with Tom and Tom anymore. So I, right. I don't know. It would be a, definitely an interesting dynamic, but I am 100% for Kristen coming back next season. Yeah. I mean, there's part of me that can't stand that these people who quit reality TV or were fired years ago right. are suddenly back. We're mm -hmm. writing about them again. We're talking about them again. And I'm kind of like, I don't know. They're kind of, are they just embracing their 15 minutes again? Right. Yes. Do I want to see them again? Is it all going to make feel fake if they come back? True. I'm torn. I'm not sure yeah. if I want to see him back. Right. Yeah. No, I think Jack would love <laughs> to not be the villain. Yeah. And so that's probably why he really wants to come back to kind of maybe have his redemption season yeah. and being like, look at me. I'm this family man. My marriage survived and everybody else has failed. So I don't know. It will be interesting. But I feel like Kristen kind of could easily come back into the fray. She's still friendly with them, but I don't know. Stassi <laughs> won't be back. We do, we do no, know that. Stassi, I don't think, would ever come yeah. back at this point. Oh. Um, it is funny, though. You mentioned that, like, Jax and Brittany have one of the most successful marriages out of all yeah. this. And that's a little surprising as a, you know, OG Vanderpump fan. I would not have guessed that. Definitely not. Well, it seems like Jax and Brittany have maybe gotten closer to Ariana during all this, too, because they also opened up on that Forever Young podcast about Ariana saying for Jax, I feel like he has gotten closer with her. He yeah. added that Ariana's been around. She came to Cruz's birthday party. She just seems like she's doing great on that side. I feel like things are better. We we haven't talked to Tom. Yeah, it seems like Tom and Jax had a big falling out like once they um le they left the show. And yeah. Jax uh, told the, podca the podcast hosts uh, he has nothing against Ariana, even though they exactly didn't see eye to eye during their time on Vanderpump. They said we're just two different people. We just never really got along. We just butt heads. Ever since this has happened, I feel like she's a different person. She seems really happy. She seems like a totally different person. I thought the weight has been kind of lifted off her shoulders. So she looks great. She seems happy. And like we said, she's kind of like you know, you know, getting all these endorsement yeah. deals and things like that. So good for her, you know, and, and, and does, um, as somebody who has been so open about her struggles and things like that, I think that she's handling this the best that she possibly can and being like a big F you. Cause I'm yeah. sure it, it hurts being, um, betrayed by your best friend and your boyfriend and she's handling it as best as she possibly can. Definitely. I mean, he said during that Howie Mandel interview that, you know, part of the reason he says that they stayed together was because they were getting these deal deals from brand right. as a couple. So it's mm -hmm. interesting now she's getting all these deals without him. Mm -hmm. Good for her. Good and for her. I mean, do you think he's ever going to get a deal from a brand again? Nope. Nope. No. I'm sure his businesses are suffering. I'm sure yeah. this may be the last Tom, Tom, uh, bar spinoff. I don't know. I mean, I feel like he really dug himself a hole. I mean, yeah. Who knows? A year from now, people love a redemption story. Who knows if yeah. he'll be able to kind of crawl his way back up and, you know, be favorable. And I really do think, and Katie said it on Watch What Happens Live, that, like, I hope they stay together because they really yeah. have no other option as of right now. Like, you have to, like, you know, kind of see this through yeah. and see if this was really worth it. The only way I think that he could get a redemption story is if Ariana were to come out and say, you know what? we were in an open relationship right. or we were having issues and I'm to blame too. And yeah. I don't see that happening. So I don't, I don't know. I don't think he's ever getting a brand deal again. No, I don't think so either. Well, let's get into it. Let's break down this episode yeah. of Vanderpump because 
There's just so much to talk about. I mean, kicking it off with this lightning bolt necklace that we thought Tom bought for her. Turns out she bought it for herself for her birthday. Said $800 on a lightning bolt necklace. Like, what is wrong with you? A lot of money for that little necklace. Right. I don't think there's any diamonds on it. (laughs) No. Total ripoff. I just can't believe that she bought herself that. I mean, the more we see of her, the more it's like we were saying, like, how do you possibly come back from this? I mean... I'll, I still can't get over the scene that I think is a next week's episode of her and Tom talking like about people finding out and she, she's smiling. She's smiling. So, it's like, this is like, I don't need to like throw life. terms around, but it's like sociopath behavior. Like it well, really a lot of the cast has said that word and yeah. I think it's on point. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I like just the conversation that she had with Ariana, yeah. like, kind of trying to convince her to break up with him or getting information if the two of them are having sex anymore. Like, that's insane to me. It's almost like she she feeds off it. Like, she yes. likes it. And it's yes. very strange. I don't know if Sandoval's quite the same. I mean, he talks yeah. about his, trying to salvage his relationship with Ariana this episode. Right. It's interesting. Although, how do you say that when you've already hooked up with Raquel? Right. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. I, we, we, like, we don't know how serious his affair was with, uh, with Raquel at this point. Was it just, right. they had like the one night stand and they have like this emotional affair or was it this a full blown affair and they're sleeping together all the time? We still don't really know the timeline yeah. and hopefully we'll get those answers at the reunion, but for her to just look her in the eye and being like, well, you know, you, you know, if you're in a relationship with somebody, you should be having sex with them. How often yeah. are you having sex? Like, it's just, it's creepy. It's, it's creepy. It really is. It's like, almost like she was like obsessive about it. I don't know. It was really, really, really weird. But what did you think about um, Sandoval's definition of quality time? Oh my God. Doing mushrooms and walking on the beach. Like, clearly, this relationship should have ended a long time ago. It should have. They are not on the same page. He's mm-hmm. 40 years old and just wants to do mushrooms. Right. Uh, That's what I was thinking. I'm like, you are a 40-year-old man who's just concerned about getting high, going skinning, dipping, and hang gliding. Like, those are your priorities. Like, right. And then she's like, remember, we just used to make dinner and watch TV together. Like, that's spending quality time together, too. You don't have to do, like, these elaborate weird things it, it was very strange to me him you know he's stocks the batteries and the pens in the drawer oh my god don't even <laughs> and gets toilet paper and paper towels jeez <laughs> the, whole thing, the whole episode just really showed the unraveling of their relationship mm-hmm. i mean it was weird to me that they're all excited about their new sandwich shop something about her and he had never seen the logo yeah me, that was really strange like if you're living with someone you're basically married and you didn't even think to, and I'm not saying it was wrong, Ariana. I just think it's weird that he didn't even run the logo bot or didn't even, like, wouldn't you want to share that with your partner? Right. I do feel like, I think Schwartz said it, that they were more roommates at the end of this relationship. I really, maybe, the, I feel like maybe the two of them were both checked out. Yeah. And like, and kind of, I do kind of agree with Tom said at Harry Mandel, maybe they just stayed together for those business opportunities for the show to kind of save face and you know and this was maybe he felt like this was the only way out I don't know I'm not making excuses for him because there's no excuse whatsoever but it just seems like like you said this should have ended a while ago and I also like he said he tried to break up with her multiple times this felt like it was going in that direction but he never actually said like no because he's like I'm still in love with you I want to make this work alone or whatever so if this, I don't know if this was one of the times that he right. considers, but like having a conversation about your relationship is certainly not trying to break up with someone. So yeah. I don't know. It's I don't know either. <laughs> it and then him, and then him not even consoling her at the end of the episode. He's being, he's more concerned about Raquel going off on Katie rather than Ariana sitting in a corner crying on Lisa Vanderpump's shoulder. Like that's a pretty telling sign that right. I mean, his mind I mean, is somewhere else. I wasn't sure the purpose of Christina Kelly being in this season, but at least she called right. him out for that. Yeah, It was kind of foreshadowing that like Ariana breaks down and cries, not even knowing what's going on really, or what's about to happen and unfold in their relationship. But I, I, this felt like it was supposed to be the season finale, and then they yes. pick hammers back up next week when everything happens. Right. Um, so it was very interesting that she had such a breakdown to Lisa. Totally. Vanderpump. No, I totally agree with you. This yeah. definitely felt like the finale, like with Lisa giving that big speech at the end. I and got chills. Like I, I know. Also, like 
I may have cried a little bit during, like, I, would just, I, mean, I won't fully admit. <laughs> I, like, felt a little wet. Right? <laughs> You're like, what is this? Um, yeah, but it definitely <laughs> felt final. And, um, but like you said, cameras pick back up, but we have to talk about Katie. Katie and Raquel, like, what is Raquel doing? Like, why, why did you sit down with her? Why are you having this conversation? Like, this just felt like you were just trying to throw this in her face and just being mean. Like, you are, like Katie said, a see you next Tuesday right now. (laughs) She honestly seems like a really bad actress. Yes. Mm -hmm. She sits down and I almost believe for a second that she's trying to make amends with Katie. And then all of a sudden she like throws in some really wild things. And I'm like, like about her rage texting Tom, which is like their personal business. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Our producers are talking to do it and you don't know how to like deliver it right? Like, she doesn't know how to speak. No. And, um... She, I don't think she understands the magnitude of being married to somebody. Like yeah. they like built a life together. Like uh, and how Katie's mom kind of said, like they had this home. They were planning on starting a family together. Like this was their future. Like you can't just step in and like meddle with their really. I don't. I don't know. It just felt really yeah. weird. I love that her mom got involved, um, which was fantastic. It was crazy. I do not like that her mom got involved. I thought it was <laughs> ridiculous. I was like, why is she hanging out with? them this is like you know their part I mean I get that she was at the salmon shop yeah. opening but I'm like come on because it is true not to say Santa Paul was right but you can't like tell someone's mom she's right. wrong yes it, it no. changed the dynamic of the group for a minute and it was a little odd to me but it was it, it was good tv sure right no it's great um, it's great tv yeah. and but like Tom Schwartz I'm done with him this season the way that he like I, uh, yeah like cowered in the corner yeah was trying to invite Raquel into their conversation in the Surback Alley. So happy to see the Surback Alley back in the back. I in the know. Show. Oh my God. That <laughs> made me so nostalgic. But it's just like, take Katie's side for once. Yeah. Can't you just defend her? Like yeah. you don't tell for five them. minutes. Why are you showing her rage checks to Raquel? Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. why are you so friendly with her? I don't understand it. Like, she's not one of the guys. And you no. clearly see how mad this makes Katie. Right. And it's like, are you just doing that on purpose? Like, yeah. he's, I, I've really changed my mind about him this season as well. He is. His, like, you know, cute little act of, like, mm-hmm. being, like, so innocent is getting very old. You're too old for that, Tom. Like you got to own up to some things. You have to say, sorry, you have to defend people. Yeah. And you can't just hide behind a tree. No. Oh my God. I can't wait for this finale. I can't wait for this reunion. It's going to be so explosive. Like we said, Ariana's on Watch What Happens Live next week. It's going to be epic. It's Um, it's it's going to be so good. All right, let's move on over to Summer House. Yeah. Um, Yeah, yeah, Summer House. Um, But Danielle's reaction to this engagement was bizarre. Bizarre. I mean, all I can say is, like, I think something else was going on in her life yeah. mm-hmm. during this time. Maybe her relationship with Robert was on the rocks, or maybe yeah. she was sad that they were getting engaged and she wasn't there yet. I'm just spitballing, but this was crazy. This right? made zero sense. It, it, you cannot get that upset that your best friend, but also what, Carl didn't owe you anything. The entire summer, you were saying how you thought that they were moving too quickly. You weren't for their relationship. Right. He told you that he was going to get a ring. He yes. mentioned that to you. Right. So the next so step you would be- You did know. Right, so you did know. And he, they owe you nothing for the way that yeah. you've acted this summer. And I'm like, I really don't understand why so many people are hating on this relationship. It makes zero sense. I know yeah. that they had their issues with Lindsay in the past. Yeah. Fine, but it's- The relationship, it makes them happy. Let them live. Totally, totally agree with you. It was really bizarre to me. I actually liked that Lindsay's friend at the party kind of was like, Danielle, this is not the place or time for this. Like, she kind of shut her down, and I was happy about that. And that made me interested, like, I wonder if this friend really knows Danielle and, like, wasn't surprised that this was going on, you know? I did, like... But when she was telling everybody at the party and like, even like Paige was like, oh God, this is awkward. Why didn't one of them like just grab her and be like, Danielle, maybe like stop. Like, yeah, like, I just, I don't like how Paige and like, I don't even think the Sarah was there, but like the, it is kind of a, a mean girl act sometimes. It's like, you're watching your friend crash and burn, like give her a hand. I totally agree with you. I, they all kind of sat back. Sam, Samantha said something in her interview that was like, I didn't, I was happy for them. Right. Yeah. I like Samantha to stand up. She's new. She barely right. knows Danielle. She barely doesn't know it's Lindsay. 
But yeah, someone like a page should have stood up and been like, hey, let's just be happy for them. Right. Yeah, right. It's it's crazy. It's and like, crazy. I get why he didn't tell the girls in the house because he w- yeah. it was a surprise. Sure, Talking yeah. Together. Like, it could have gotten out. He was trying to keep it a surprise. So I get that. Yeah. Do you yeah. agree with Paige? Do you agree with Paige that Lindsay knew it was coming since she wore shoulder pads to the beach? 100%. I said last yeah. week, I can't, like, that's the dress she wore for firewood. <laughs> However, I don't think she expected her parents to be there and all the friends. So I yeah. think that's a true surprise. I definitely think she knew she was getting engaged. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what did you, and then Robert kind of getting in on the drama, kind of putting yeah. Carl, pulling Carl aside, like, let them be happy. Let them yeah. enjoy it. Like this yeah. wasn't about Danielle. And I agree. I, I, if I was Carl, I'd probably want to shut down the cameras as well. Yeah. That was interesting. I mean, I was surprised that that conversation is what did it for him, but maybe right, true. expecting Robert to do it, um, yeah. be the one to kind of like sit him down and tell him that he was in some way wrong for getting engaged. Mm-hmm. Um, very strange. I do wonder if this kind of started the demise of Robert and Danielle's relationship. If he kind of was like, oh, she wanted me to do that, but I didn't want to do that. Sure, no. yeah. I know we do get to talk to Danielle um, to see what her side of the story is because she's got to regret it a little bit, right? I'm sure she does. I feel like the two of them will maybe patch things up at the reunion. Yeah. I, I feel like maybe if she like explains that she was going through something, yeah. maybe. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of history there and hopefully they can kind of move past it because it seems like Kyle and Carl have definitely moved past their differences this summer. You know, Kyle telling Carl at the party kind of what was going on, giving him a heads up. So it seems like the two of them, at least at that time in the summer, were at a good place. Totally. Uh, at least it was an interesting episode of Summer House. It was. It got more interesting. You know, yes. Better than the rest of the season. It doesn't compare Definitely. to Vanderpump, but I'll take it. Right. Well, speaking of Summer House, we got our first um, episodes of the Summer House Martha's Vineyard. We actually caught up with some of the cast to talk about the new series. So take a look. Overall, what was this experience like for the two of you? Honestly, we're crazy because <laughs> to do this after getting married and having him just a you few know, months after getting married, by just the way, a few months, it's we're always up for a challenge. And our friends came through with their personalities and looks and we had a great time. But on the other side, no regrets. No, no regrets at all. And part of it was like, oh, my God, hosting feels like a full time job. It is. Right. And another part was like, oh, my God, but it's so fun. <laughs> It's Definitely. so fun. And so that 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 was the balance throughout the the time there is like one moment you're like, oh, never again. And another moment you're like, this is why I did Can't this. Wait to come back <laughs> <here. laughs> totally. Like while you're in it, you're like, I'm never doing this again. As soon as it's over, like, oh, when's the next trip? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what I love of you. <laughs> yeah. What I love about this is that, you know, obviously you guys are hosting, but you are a real g- group of friends and you have a history together, which I think makes this so special and unique because you're coming in with, you know, these formed friendships. So were a lot of these friendships still intact after the summer? Yeah, I look at it like family. Again, like when you get married, his friends become my friends, my friends become his friends, and we're all going to be friends on the vineyard. But, you know, we're like family. We might argue, we might fight, but we're going to take a shot and move on at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. That's just the protocol. And look, we we had a chance, just going through this, we had a chance to get it to know each other better, right? Like we were friends before going into the house, but I got to learn more about Preston, right? My fraternity brother, whom I knew for years before this, and Learn more about Jason, who's like my adopted brother from Jasmine, right? And it's it's just fun. And we're still cool with everybody. Everybody's, you know, uh, like she said, it's like family fight, family members fight, right? But they also have a good time and you know, they take shots afterwards. Mm-hmm. And so, like, you know, we're 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 looking forward to more summers with the crew for sure. Yeah, and I really do feel like for the Bravo audience, it's exciting to have, you know, we're we're, we're young, we're we're successful, we're we're supple and vibrant, but I think at this point of our life, it's just, it's fun to hang out. You're going to feel like you're there with us and, you know, it's going to be a fun ride. I'm excited for the Bravo audience to experience that. Yeah. Definitely. Were you fans of the original Summer House? And like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Were, did you kind of understand or know what to expect or was it totally different than when you ever thought it was going to be no we actually and i'll I'll, you know how you're like watching something on television and you're like boyfriend or significant other like happens to hear and the next thing you know they're sitting next 
to use the condom thing. That's how it was with him. So he knows a lot more than I think he ever intended because <laughs> he inadvertently watches them with me. But for me, I think if I would have noticed, if I had to go back and remind myself of something, it's girl, Kyle and Amanda, they went through their relationship stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we just ain't tuned in. We just ain't tuned in. Listen, I have a lot more grace and appreciation for Kyle. Let me just say that. Like, <laughs> on the show, I'm like, man, this guy's always got a drink in his hand. I understand why, brother. I understand why having all those folks around you and all these personality and trying to make sure everybody's good and you got your girl there, like, it's, it's a lot of dynamics, but yeah. it's fun and you just make your way through it. Yeah. No, definitely. Definitely feeling this group of people. I think it's going to be a fun season. And uh, yeah. please let us know in the comments what you think about it. If you're all for it, we'll we'll recap it every single week if you if you guys are loving it. Because yeah, it seems know. like, yeah, they're a really fun group. And um, I felt like from the, I only saw the first episode so far, yeah. but I feel like they're actually friends. So that's always yes. a good place to start. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we know we've been telling Bravo that for years. Just make sure they're right. friends. Um, <laughs> the only problem for me is like I feel like there's just so many shows. And there's I'm so many like, shows, and the problem, yeah. the only problem that I have with this show is that it's such a large group of people that I'm having trouble figuring out like who's with who. Maybe like yeah. as we get more into yeah. it, we'll be able to kind of um, figure everything out. But I liked it so far. It seems yeah. like you know, good group of people, good drama. Beautiful That's setting. Fun. So I think it'll be fun. Yeah. I love Martha's Vineyard. Yes. All right. Well, it's time for our social spotlight of the week. Mine went to Lindsay Hubbard because she shared some behind the scenes photos of her engagement party. And it looks like there was just a lot of love there. Despite the drama, a lot of love. Yes, definitely. <laughs> um, mine goes to James Kennedy. He posted um, that he was at Tao Chicago last week. Um, and it was one for the books. Massive thanks to everyone who came out. I just, you know... Seeing his crowd, which I don't know if he purposely took the shot of the crowd and showed how many people were there, it looked packed to uh -huh. the gym, versus like a Tom Sandoval concert, which is just full of empty seats. You know, James Kennedy is really coming out on top. James Kennedy, number one guy in the group. I mean, <laughs> who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> All right. Well, that is it for this week's episode of Reality Recap. Please keep commenting, keep subscribing. Did Tom Sandoval say hot? Did he say not? What do you think about Summer House Martha's Vineyard? Let us know, and we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.